that people made or news channels and study what I'm about to put out. I'm just picking stuff randomly and see what people think about the attempted assassination on President Trump. Let's try this one here from Okay, right here. Let's see what they have to say. Unemployment tip number four. It How is, to get the government to give you a up. People just like to put Trump recorded March 14th of this year. America all throughout, and I saw Trump rising up, and then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that, that This bullet flew by his ear, and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum, eardrum. And I saw um, he, was, he fell to his knees during this time frame. Is this cessationist about to have to eat some charismatic crow? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Mm. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin Peters. I hope that this finds you and your family doing well today. I want to thank you so much for five. And then James Garfield, 1881, was also assassinated just six months after he took office. President William McKinley was shot on September the 6th. Hold on. We started is over. I went a bit too far. Hold on, let me. Hold on, let's go back a little bit. Take it back a little back further here. Ah, uh, come on, Mr. Glee. Okay. False prophet. Many of his prophecies have been proven to be false. Already, I did hmm. one video on him uh, some months ago. Put a link for you down below in the description. If you like I don't have that. I'm just giving all of the power, power brief on what he's talking about. In a cave in Turkey, and so I did a video on that. Uh, link down below if you'd like to watch okay, it. Okay, I don't hear the crowd. Uh, watch this. Uh, watch this prophecy from Chris Reed, and this was. Uh, at least it was posted on March the 10th, 2024, just a few days before Listen. Brandon Listen. his prophecy. But uh, watch this from Chris Reed, what he has to say about a possible assassination attempt on Donald Trump. But I've seen a vision over and over of former President Trump near a car getting in or out and someone trying to take him out an assassination attempt, and I want you to agree with me that that would be canceled. The Lord shows us these things so that we can come into agreement to stop these things. We don't want harm to come to anyone, but I want you to take that serious. And uh, I think it's really, really important. Wow. So just a few days before Brandon Biggs made his prophecy about Trump. Chris That's crazy. Now, that is crazy right there, man. I'm like, wow. I never heard that before until just now. Just going through and trying to see what people are saying about the assassination attempt. That's crazy. But there has been many other political figures that have been assassinated. So not here or not there. We want to go through that. That's what he's going through. But. And it's. And it's oh, wow, right here. Shoot up. Oh. Okay. We can try this one here and see what he's saying here. You know, just lots of people are there putting different theories out. And I wish I did caught that one earlier on what they're saying about. He uh, had his vision and so forth and so on. Okay, let's go right here. Thomas Matru.
reconnect and stand together yes. against violence. Yes. Here's some of what he had to say. My fellow Americans, I want to speak to you tonight about the need for us to lower the temperature in our politics. And remember, or we may disagree, we are not enemies. We're neighbors. No doubt. We're friends. Yes. We're co-workers, citizens. And most importantly, we are fellow Americans. We must stand together. A former president was shot. An American citizen killed while simply exercising his freedom to support the candidate of his choosing. We cannot, we must not go down this road in America. There is no place in America for this kind of violence, for any violence ever. Period. No exceptions. We can't allow this violence to be normalized. You know, the political record in this country has gotten very heated. Wow. We all have a responsibility to do that. Yes, we have deeply felt strong disagreements. The stakes in this election are enormously high. I've said it many times. It's a choice in the selection we make in this election. That's what I'm talking about. People coming together. Now is the time for people to come together. Regardless on your political belief. People need to come together. And something like this should never ever happen again. Never. Especially want a former president. That's the highest office of the land. I don't care who in the White House, we must respect the office. And the officer who was elected to be the officer, respect that. Look at how you, you should feel about my candidate did not win. It all boils down. And he's a former officer. No way that's supposed to happen. He was to be well protected. Well protected. It's not... <laughs> I, I know some people are saying and other broadcast might broadcast may saying that a lot of people need to get fired for being so relaxed or did not pay attention like they're supposed to because that don't sound too right to me. I don't, that person was just too close. You think because they look innocent, they won't do nothing like that? I don't know. It gotta be. I can't wait for the finals or for some more investigation to come out later in the week to help sue the public with how this person get in that situation, a position, and the person talks by talking to his family, his friends. You know, learn more about this person, the shooter. Because I assume, I hope that the information comes was correctly, the shooter is dead. So, if that was correct, now we have to go and try to talk to family and friends, teachers, to see and learn about the shooter. Anyway... That's my two cents for now. There'll be more to come on this topic. Remember, this is Mr. Gleek. We are still looking forward to have our shows or segments as we put them on where people could be calling in and giving their opinions, their comments, their indifferences. On whatever. It do not have to be on a topic that we're talking about. It's on whatever on your mind that you want to put out. And we're here to receive it. And put it back out there for you. As you speak. That's our goal. That's our goal and that's what we want to do. So... 
support the channel, subscribe, <laughs> you know, let us get that level. All the acts are in the comments, let's keep it in a respectable manner. We don't need to uh, use no foul languages, you know, we can just, you know, keep it respectable. So the public, the world could hear and understand and listen. Because when people start using foul languages and hate in a militia manner, the world don't want to hear that. The public don't hear that. You know, they're going to hear you. So we want the public to hear your taunts to help bring more people together as one. We can do this together. Don't forget, subscribe, leave a comment. This is Mr. Glee. Hello. Till next time, that's my two cents. Hey, hey, hey. This is me, Mr. Glee.